Uh, we're sitting here at the Pearl at the Palms in lovely Las Vegas with Mr. Jim Ebden um, for a Maroon 5 show. Um, and this is not like your normal tour stop. No, we're, um, this is an MTV uh, 3D show. 3D? They're shooting this in 3D. You can see all the cameras behind us. So we, we had to uh, squeeze um, uh, you know, 10, 10 pounds of shit into a 5 pound sack to yeah. cram it all in. And um, you can see there's an opening act. Uh, Matt Nathanson is um, there's, there's joining us today, so he's in fun day at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a, an unusual show. We're guests of MTV here. We, we would come in. So, know, so it's not, you know, come in with you know, touring, you know. Well, we came in gung-ho, this is how we do it. And I was like, oh, well, hold on, take a step back. We're guests here today. We're going to do it exactly how they want so, so it's like, you know, where, 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 where do you want me to put the board today? Not just where Any way you want to go. I don't yeah. care. I'm, I'm fine with that. It's not a problem. Okay, cool. So you guys have uh, you guys have been touring for what nine weeks, ten weeks? This is this about month? nine weeks. Yeah, it's, it's a ten week run. We got a week to go. Right. So did did you know the whole thing with with uh, with Adam and the band doing the voice and everything? Did that change anything that you guys did? I mean, because the band got really high profile. The band got a lot of high profile, and uh, I'm told this is the best selling chef tour we've sold. Really? Yeah, and it's amazing how. Uh, and they've got a number one record in every market now with moves like Jagger. It's a great record, by the way. It's a great it. record, yeah. And uh, and it's just you know elevated the band considerably and very noticeably uh, everywhere we go. And it must be kind of cool for you. I mean, I, a lot of people don't know. I'm under the impression that Maroon 5 started out as a fusion, is what I've been told. And, and then you can hear harmonic structures and everything. Right. They aren't typical pop music. So right. it must be kind of cool to... I mean, at, at the very least, they all play. You're not they're, polishing they're, a turd. They're great. No, no, yeah. they're all good good players, and we've got a good uh, session guy, PJ Martin, who fills in, plays extra keyboards. So okay. we're very Pro Tools light now, which is great. Pro Tools light, yeah, that's yeah, really nice. Yeah, and uh, you know, the production's quite small. Um, I might use my line now. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> that a great line. we got to find a way to work this. Well, you know, we talked about, you know, well, though you, you said something about we're squeezing 10 pounds of shit into a 5 pound bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that happens a lot. Well, but this band happens. produced their ego by three trucks. So, and, and they're making money and it's a sellout. Too, so. Well, there you go. And I love that. Reduce your ego by three trucks. They're, 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 right here. A, first, right here. Yeah, well, well, there's, there's a, uh, there's a words to live by, um, yeah. kind of, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, everybody thinks, I, I think that the day of the 20 truck tour is kind of done. Unless you're you two and you've got all the money in the world, do they need to? Do they need all that stuff? I'd just like to go see you two as well. I'd be happy oh, to see you two in here. Oh well, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm in the same kind of place yeah. these days. You know, yeah. it's, 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 stadium it's, sound is is big and exciting, but unnecessary. I think you're right. I think I think at some point in time it, it becomes a, you know it gets to be about the music again. Um, Everybody thinks you gotta, these, these shows get bigger and bigger and then everybody expects more and more and more. I don't know. I don't know. You know, you know I hear the Stones going out the stage next year and Lady Gaga, you know? If you're, I mean, which what are you, you uh, going to I don't know. I, think, I might go to Lady Gaga, actually. I think I'd be more excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mick and Keith, don't, don't get me wrong, but, you know, it's a... Uh, uh, but, and, and I've been hearing conflicting things. Mick may be going out with his super group that he put together. And I, I, I think that would be exciting. Do you really? Do you really? Yeah, why not? What the hell? Yeah. You know? That'd be interesting to do, right? Well, yeah. Well, there you go. So, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least it would be interesting. I'm not yeah. sure if I, I, I think on the Gaga Stones thing, I think I'd have to go with the Stones. Right, I, okay. I, I, right. Yeah, I see, I think I'm I see what you're guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, That's fine. That's fine. No, but my, I'm, I'm just trying to say my point of, you know, a modern production versus an enormous production. Okay, Do okay. I I mean? Yeah, and, no, I get what you mean. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you know, one of the, the best um, uh, tours I've seen in the last 12 months was Muse. I just thought that, now there's, and I saw Muse six, seven years ago in Europe when it was a much smaller scale. Right. And uh, I thought, what an amazing band. And they, and they seemed to put all their money into their production. And, and what a great production. It, it sounded was, fantastic. It, it, and we saw when they came out here, and they had they were doing some video thing, right. and everything. it sounded amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mark is, is really, really good. They're totally on top of it. Totally on top of it. And, and running exactly that old right XL4. Formula. Exactly the right formula. Oh, and, and, and he really understood, and this is a big thing, he understands who he's mixing for. Yeah, yeah. The mix was not to my taste. Right. Awful lot of Sundays. 
Who's mixing no. himself? That's what I do. <laughs> well, <laughs> but he under, but the audience was, was yeah, digging no. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like, you know, and I said, I think I said something that's like, you know, you don't mix for the, the magazine guy who's coming in, you mix for the people who are paying the money yeah. for that ticket, and every single person will yeah. way into it, just because I don't like that much, so it's not necessarily a thing. It's the audience that's what they're looking for.